This is the site of one of the most challenging ultramarathons in the United States, the Race Across the Sand, a six-day, 148-mile stage race through the deserts, grasslands, and mountains of Cocopelli's Trail, which stretches between Loma, Colorado and Moab, Utah. There's no money to be won here, just plenty of isolation and lots of pain. Golly. We're a sick crew, man. So what I want to discover is, why do these people do this? This is Kurt Egley. 200 even. He's 47 and a former naval officer who's been running ultramarathons since 2001. But at the race across the sand, he's just hoping to finish. Everybody's either running from or running to something, I think. So, um, you know, personally, for me, it's about getting out here where so I can be small. Everything gets stripped off of you out here. You have one focus, and that's to run. This is the front runner. Sean Martin is an up-and-comer on the ultramarathon scene. He started running when he was four years old on the Navajo Reservation in northern Arizona, where he grew up. It's just something that you did on a daily basis as far as the culture and my family is concerned. So really never had a choice. It was just kind of part of the daily, part of the daily process. You wake up and run. In the first four days of the race, Sean covers 120 miles in less than 18 hours. You can let your mind wander a little bit to kind of get away from the pain. I think a lot about my culture, my, my history, my traditions. You know, you think about things like that and think, man, I could be running in the same exact footsteps that our ancestors ran in centuries ago. A very sore Kurt is in last place. Then, to make matters worse, he gets caught in a rainstorm during the 52-mile expedition stage of the race. If it was easy, everybody would be out here. Sometimes valor is the fight. Whether you win or lose, the valor is, is, is that you stood in there and you took a swing and see what happens. I think maybe Kurt's right. Maybe the biggest adversary for these runners lies within. In a race like this, in this remote stretch of land where every fiber of your being is telling you to stop, Maybe these runners are hoping to discover that they have no limits. On the final day, Sean sets a new course record, finishing in 21 hours and 27 minutes. I think overall, that's probably one of the best running experiences I've ever had. It's painful the whole way, but it's part of it, you know? Kurt finishes last in 41 hours and 40 minutes. It sucks being fat and running for <laughs> He achieved his goal of crossing Cocopelli's trail. I don't know, it's going to take a while to figure out how I feel about this one. Uh, we'll live to find another day for sure.